Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and work with automatically creating a user profile when a user signed up. So we're going to be doing this with Signal. It's very, very, very easy and we'll be doing this with Django. So in order to go ahead and get started, you want to get back to your code editor. And this is where we stopped off from the last video, creating the user automatically and signing them in automatically when they log in. So in order to create a profile when a user creates an account, what we need to do is head back to our models. This is over here now we need to write a very very simple signal over here and as you can see i've already got a signal code i'm just gonna bring it up and i'm gonna explain what this code is doing so what i simply need to do is go ahead and uncomment this post this code over here and i want to import post.safe make sure you import this now what is this code going to do Sim it's simply going to create a user profile and it's took in four parameters and what it's checking is if Created is equal to true, then it will go ahead and create a profile. So if a user has automatically has created an account with our application or whatever we are doing, this code over here is going to go ahead and create an a, create a profile with a user instance. Okay, then we went ahead and also defined a function that's going to save the profile. So save user profile. It's took in sender instance and quags, and what it simply did was save the profile that was created. So after that. Then we simply called post save that we imported over here at the top and we connected it with the new profile that we created and the sender is going to be the user instance and we also saved the profile um, with the save user profile function so this code is really really easy as you can see we used barely six lines of code and we achieved this now let's go ahead and try creating a new, a new user and see if the functionality works perfectly well so i'm going to come over here i'm going to fill in a new user i'm going to click on login so um it say the image attribute has no file associated with it i think this is an error let's see what's going on so i'm gonna okay i think this should be from our image over here no, it's equal to true. We actually need a default. So we should say default should be default.jpg. Okay. Default.jpg. It says that. Now I'm going to try creating a new user again. And it says no such this default.jpg. Yeah, I knew it. That was the error. So we need to fix this right now. And in order to do that, um, we are simply going to open this up. And in the, in the static, Let's open up one of these and I want to grab just a dummy placeholder image. No worry, we are still going to change this in the upcoming videos. I just want to grab um, a, a dummy image. I'm going to grab this image and I'm simply going to put it down here. Okay. And we need to call this one default.jpg. So I think that should be it. Now let's try creating the new user again. I'm going to sign up a new user. And okay, it's still saying there's no such directory and C blah 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 desktop IGPRJ media. Oh, 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 I get it. This is supposed to be in media instead. So in the media, you want to just drop this down here. Okay. Now we're gonna get back, we're gonna refresh this page, and I'm gonna try create a new user. Okay, so now we create a new user. What do you notice? It gives them a a profile immediately and we, we can head over to the profile and as you can see it's created the profile automatically so that's one of the best parts of this and as you can see it has no name just the username and all this stuff and we can actually create a functionality that would let a user automatically fill in their username their profile and all that when they create an account so what we are supposed to do is in the views.py over here um in the views in the views.py for the auto over here we need to send this to to edit profile i think that should be what i called the url let's see it's, it's edit profile so i'm going to go ahead and log out again i'm going to create a new user sign up and i'm going to create a new user i'm going to log in now what do you notice it brings them to the page to edit their profile so they can simply choose a profile picture i can choose this and i can fill in i can fill in my domain name and all that and i think we need to change this let's say that and let's say this should be my address whatever whatever i'm gonna um, manually fill this in let's just say samuel 
and I'm going to say, yes, Samuel Franks, and I'm going to say software engineer over here. Now, when I hit the update profile, what do you notice? It's working perfectly well. Now, a user can go ahead and follow other users, but they won't be able to see any posts. That's because they are not following any user yet. So I think in the next video, we're going to go ahead and work with automatically listing out users that they want to follow. Or guess what? We can still do it in this video. But before that, I would want to remove the spinner over here. So what I want to do is simply um, get to the profile.html and there is a spinner down here. This is it. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, refresh should be gone and they don't have any posts. So for post in post. Yeah, they don't have any post. Now there's going to be an option to create new posts from here. So they can easily come over here and and let's say they want to create a new post. They could choose a, a an image just like this. They can say um, walking on my computer and they can put hashtags computer and coding and they can post the image okay so as you can see now they've got an image they can view this they can like it they can comment and all that so this is one of the things we achieved here now now another thing we would want to do is automatically list out all the whole users that we've got so they can follow them you understand so when they log in they can follow the users automatically over here so in in order to do that so in order to do that what we need to do is write a very 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 simple view in the index.html so we need to come over to post and we need to come over to post and we need to come over to the views okay so over here we need to list out all the whole user that's that we have on our page so we need to just we can do it we can do this at the top over here we can say all users can be equal to um user rather user dot objects dot all just like that and we need to pass this into our our context as all user so i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna pass this in as all underscore user Let's make sure that's correct like this. Okay, so we're passing all user. Now, what we simply need to do is head back to the index.html after we've done this line of code over here. So, so in the index.html, we need to look for this part of this code. I'm simply gonna search for it and that's it over there. So I think this is the div that's containing it. When I comment this out, you see it would, it says all user isn't defined. What's the problem? name error ads oh it's called all users instead i'm gonna put this in there this should work now okay so in the index of html this is the code that's actually responsible for this part okay so um i think it's starting from here let's let me get rid of this and yeah that's it so what i need to do is simply run a for loop over here at the top so i'm gonna say for user in all in all underscore users and i'm simply gonna end the four over here i'm gonna say end four now when we refresh as you can see it's listing out all the whole users that we've got now we need to manually go ahead and you know like list them out and all that so we can say user user dot profile dot image and some of the users don't already have a profile so that's why nothing is showing up over here but for the for the profile dot user dot username let's see followed by we need to get rid of this followed by so we're going to get rid of this and that should be it and this is where the, the username should be so we can say something like user so we get something like user dot profile dot first underscore name user dot profile dot first underscore name when it ends off with another another coil of braces over here now we see destiny and we need to put over here pipe title so it will all be in an uppercase okay yeah this isn't gonna work just because of a code that we've got from from our styling but don't worry, i'm still gonna fix that later and we need to put in the the last name last name okay and for this one over here, we need to put in the username. So I'm going to put at user dot username. Okay. So as you can see the destiny. Now we can also view the image user dot profile dot image dot URL. Okay. Image attribute has no file associated with it. Um, I need, I think I need to get rid of some of the users that we've got already. 
when I refresh this, it's not working. I need to head back to my admin and I need to log into my admin, come over to users. And as you can see, we've got all these users. So um, I'm simply gonna, gonna get rid of all the users apart from Destiny because he's one and Karen, yeah. We need to still leave Karen and we're gonna get rid of all the other users that we've got. It says this returned a blah 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 blah. Where where is this error coming from? Say that returned a non-type string post. Okay, this is definitely from the models. Let's see. So it's definitely an some like this. It's an error like this. So we need to go ahead and see where it's coming from. Um, you see this one over here. Let's go ahead and comment it out. Okay. Now I'm gonna try refreshing this again. And let's try deleting all the users apart from Destiny and Karen. Let's see if this is gonna work now. It still says the same thing. Let's look if let's look for someone else that looks like that and get rid of it. Now over here we've got this and title. It's definitely a post error. That's that's a foreign key. So that's it will be it will be difficult to actually navigate to where the error is coming from. Now we've looked in the post, not in this DM. Let's look in the models, the POI of this post. Nothing is here too. And we can simply comment this out. And let's also look in the let's look in let's look in the rects and models.py. I don't think anything is in here. Let's look in the comments models.py this is it over here so i'm gonna get rid of this okay and i'm gonna try refreshing this again so as you can see yeah we want to delete them we're sure so we can go ahead and delete all these users and now let's come over to this let's come over to our home page again and let's try creating a new user so i'm gonna log out and i'm gonna try creating a new user again i'm gonna fill in all this and click on login so it brings us to this page where we're going to fill in all our details definitely we can easily do that it's not difficult so this should be h http the slash something that's come and this should be an address yeah it could be anything at all and I'm, i already chose a file right um, i can choose another one now when i post this and i try getting home what do you notice now it's list out all the whole users that we've got okay so this is pretty much what we need now what we want to do is simply click on follow to automatically follow a user from here so in order to do that it's it's not difficult we can easily achieve that but firstly we need to look at the way our our profile code is is written so over here let's look for the follow section as you can see this is it this is the code that's doing all this so we definitely need to grab this one over here and we need to head back to the index.html and for this follow this is supposed to be an a tag this is supposed to be an a tag and there is supposed to be a href in there so let's see everything is still looking fine and for this href i'm going to paste this in here okay and let, when we refresh this it says rivers for follow with arguments isn't found now this is supposed to be user dot user okay so how about we try following one of these users down it's definitely not gonna work and that's because we need to check out for some things before we start doing this okay now let me see if i get rid of this and refresh it still works perfectly well okay let's get down here see i wanted to look at this part you see when we hover on this it says follow current now when we click on follow what do you notice it brings us to current's page and we can simply follow her now we'll be seeing all her posts but we want to automatically follow her from here i don't know why it's not showing that so what we need to do is check for some for some um arguments first before we do that so we need to check if we are already following karen we don't want to follow her again so that's what we're going to be doing right now so if follow status is equal, is equal to true then we want to go ahead and unfollow her else we want to go ahead and follow her okay so that's pretty much what this code is gonna be doing i'm gonna put n4 and this is supposed to be one this is follow this is unfollow okay hopefully you guys understand what's going on now let's refresh this and i think there is an error this is if in the index this is n4 it's supposed to be end if 
let's refresh so now let's try following destiny what do you notice we are following destiny okay guys so as you can see our functionality is working really 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 fine i think that should be it apart from the fact that we would want, like to view a user profile just by clicking on their picture so over here we want to use um just here we're going to open up template tags and this should definitely go to the profile and over here we should just say user so now when we try refreshing it works fine now let's refresh again you see when we click on this it takes us to destiny's profile when we click on this it takes us to current profile and so on and so forth so the last one we want to do is for the image so for the image i'm simply gonna also open up templates tags and we're gonna pass in url we're gonna pass in profile and we're simply gonna pass in user so i think yeah that's gonna round it up for this video and in the next one we're gonna go ahead and start working with the story so that we can be able to post stories so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video which we automatically creates a profile for a user when they log in and we also automatically do what else i think we also automatically um list out this this over here but for now i don't want to actually go ahead and allow users update their profile info when they sign up so i'm gonna log out and what i'm gonna do is simply come over to views so when a user creates an account it should be in the OTI. So, so in the in the OTI instead, let me look for the OTI. Uh, it should be somewhere here. So when a user creates an account, we don't want to take them to the to the edit profile. Rather, I'm gonna comment this out and I'm gonna do another one like this. Rather, we wanna take them to the index page. So hopefully you guys understand what's going on. Now I'm gonna try signing up a new user again. So when I click on this and sign up a new user, it brings them to the index page. So now they can manually um, follow and do all this kind of cool thing, okay? But for now, as you can see, it's showing all this and it's showing non non for the name. That is something you can easily fix. For the non non, what you can simply do is, um, let's just get back to the index.html and over here for the for the name i'm gonna make remove the word drop so this stays in a straight line so for the first name and last name what we can simply do is check if user.profile.first underscore name okay then we want to display all this but how about the user doesn't have a first name then what do we want to do we want to simply go ahead and display like a domain name for them we can say something like um we can say something like let's just list in, list out their username rather so we can just say at as user name okay so as you can see this user over here let's this should be at user dot user name okay so as you can see this user over here has don't have a name so it's listing out their username as their name so i'm going to get back and this is what we've got so i think that's going to round it up for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it now we can simply follow somebody and as you can see it's working perfectly well let me get back here as you can see we can now view their posts so this is um pretty much what we need um i, I can see one of these here also we can still fix that let's look for the switch let's look for switch so we can simply fix this on switch what we need to do is copy this over here and and for the name i'm gonna put this in here and what if they don't have a name then i'm simply gonna um come over here paste this down here and i'm gonna say i'm gonna say uh I'm gonna say user dot username then end of the if statement so end if yeah that should be it for now i hope um you guys enjoyed this video and learned a whole lot of things there is still a lot to do here um you can go ahead and start fixing up some things for example where we click on this we can save the post or where we click on this we can copy the post profile there is just a lot of things to do but hopefully you guys have an idea on how to actually build a fully fledged project using python and django while creating this instagram clone project i hope you guys enjoyed this video the make sure to drop a like also drop a comment if you have any issue i'll be in the comment section to help you debug it and yeah that's pretty much it i hope i'll see you guys in my next video for now i'd love peace out